Not only is most of the information that you gather from the web free, but there are also free downloads that range from music to videos and graphics. Downloading is one of the most popular features of the web. To download means to copy a file from a server or host onto your own computer so that you can access it locally from your computer. Be aware, however, that not all downloads are free, so you'll want to watch for any prices attached to the downloads you're interested in. They're usually obvious, so you won't have to worry about any unwelcome surprises. Some downloads are only free for a trial period, after which you'll have to pay for the download if you decide to keep it. In addition, it's always a good idea to scan downloaded files for viruses before opening them. You found a screensaver that you like. Because it's available for free, you'll download it to your computer so that you can use it. Here we are at a Microsoft web page that contains a screensaver we want to download. On the right side of the window is a section called Download, which includes a hyperlink to begin downloading the screensaver. It tells us that the file is 5.71 megabytes in size, meaning we'll need at least that much available memory on our computer to download this file. We've got plenty of space, so all we need to do to get started is click the link. Clicking the link took us to this page, which simply tells us more about the screensaver we're going to download. To continue with the download, we just need to click the Download button. Whenever you download a file, you'll be given the option to either run it or save it to your computer. Selecting to run the file automatically opens it and saves it to your computer's temp directory. However, we want to save the file to our computer. The Save As dialog box opened. From here, we can name our file and tell our computer where to save the file to. We want to save the file to our desktop, which we're already at, so let's go ahead and specify the name we want to give our file. The default name is already highlighted in the file name text box, so we can just type the new name. We're ready to download. Once we click the Save button, we'll do just that. This dialog box lets us know our download is complete. We can check to make sure everything went smoothly by clicking the Close button and then revealing the desktop to see the downloaded file. We're back at the browser window, which we can see acknowledges that the download was successful. Let's minimize this window so we can see the file, which should be on our desktop. There's our downloaded file on our desktop. Keep in mind, we haven't actually installed the screensaver. We've only downloaded the .exe file that will install the screensaver when the file is run. To run the file and install the screensaver, you would just need to double-click the file.